बस को तो Are yet to favor me. No, I didn't kill. How is your mother? Don't tell me she's not getting better. She's fine. She ate this afternoon. She even played with me. Really? <sighs> You're welcome. Thank you, my love. I told you I'm fine. Eh? It was just a slight cold, but I'm okay now. Hmm? Yeah. You know, even though I went hunting, I, I couldn't rest. I kept thinking about you and your health all day. My husband, maybe that's why you returned home empty-handed, because I can see you don't have any bushmeat with you. Oh no, not that. I am still on my hunting route. I don't know why the gods have refused to favor me, why they have seized their blessings from me. Maybe it's something I did. No, my husband. Eh? You didn't do anything wrong. It's just the season we are in. No hunter is making any catch right now. But not to worry, everything will be fine. Hmm? Papa, it's not possible that all the animals in the bush went on exile. <laughs> no, no. No, my dear. Animals don't go on exile. Moreover, they are not at war with anyone. I'm starving. Now you take this into the house and get me food to eat. Okay. Nene. Mm. Come. <clears throat> Easy. Mm. All right, lie down. <sighs> Sorry, you. Thank you. You must be very tired. Why don't you go in and rest? I will. Mm? I hope you have eaten. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You'll be fine. You'll be good. I know. I will. Well, don't worry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Are you okay? Hey, you're sick again. Nam, it's over. It's over, my dear. Who made you up? I did. How do I look? By the gods, you look beautiful. Nam, is Nam okay? Yes, she's fine. She's fine, okay? You just go into the house. In no time, she'll come and make you food so you can eat. No go? No, I have to go to the stream. Maybe when I return. Mom, are you sure her name is okay? She's okay. I'm with her, okay? Make sure you come back on time so you can eat. Sure you can go into the kitchen. Not today. Okay, then let me let me run around and see how to take you to the DBI. Mm. No. Stupid goat eye. What goat are you talking about? There's no goat there. By the gods, I can swear there was a goat right in front of me now. <laughs> he was standing there before we fell on the ground. Nay, I saw everything that happened. I didn't see any goat. He seems you are drunk this morning. <sighs> you need to go back to sleep. Oh. Please don't hurt this beautiful woman. I am drunk. Do you think it's that serious? <laughs> of course. You can see that it is serious. But it is not something I cannot handle. Oh, thanks to the gods. So you can commence treatment immediately, eh? So, so it doesn't get worse. You get me. You have not given me anything. Oh, oh, and I don't work for nothing. I don't work for, for free. Oh, oh that's true. That, that's why I came with the one I was owing you before. I, I don't want to have to owe you so much so that you can commence. Mm. I can't find it too. What? What is it that you cannot find? I, 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 I had some calories when I was coming here. So. Could it have fallen where I had the accident? I, I, Aneke, I hope you are not trying to play the childish no, game with me. I, oh, okay, we will do just go ahead with the treatment, okay? Let me rush and get your money now. I'll be back before you know it. You go. All right, thank you. Uh, Aneke, eh? to Don't worry, don't worry about that.
tell me who's going anywhere today. Anyway, let me go and continue fetching my I didn't bargain for all of this, eh? What do I do now? And this is not even enough to upset the previous debt I owed you. Hey, gods. Eh? Please, I beg of you, eh? Hold on to this. I know it's not enough. It is not a matter of not being enough. It is nothing! Eh? Have you forgotten you were owing me previously? And this is not even enough to upset the previous debt. I know, and that's why I'm begging you to hold on to this and commence treatment while I run around to complete no, the money. Not. I will not touch it. Go and complete it, then come back. But you'll keep turning to my wife, right? Why should I? Why? The Udoku, my, my, my wife is dying, please. Look, it seems you want to joke with the life of your wife. No, no, no. Okay, eh? let me go, let me go. This is the amount you asked for. Oh, thank you. But please do well to bring it back with the previous one you borrowed. I will. I promise you I will do that. Thank you very much. It's okay. You have proven to me you are a friend indeed. It's all right. The gods will continue to be. It's okay. It's okay. Don't. I see. Uh, uh, extend my regards to your wife. We'll be praying for her. She will soon be okay. You okay. see? Okay. Thank you. It's all right. Let me run along. It's all right. Thank you. What is it that you are saying? And I, eh? what I am trying to say is this. What? I hope he has not come back here for you to give him free treatment again. How do you mean? Free treatment? Did anybody tell you that I do free service here? That is exactly what you do. 
People come here, you treat them and let them go without giving you any reasonable amount of money. Especially Aneke. Now he has brought his wife here for you to give another free treatment. I don't understand what you are talking about. Of course you will not understand what I'm talking about. You will not understand. Nay, I overheard him pleading with you to show some mercy. Your name is not Mercy. He must pay you this time before you lay hands on his sick wife. Why must you always be at the receiving end? Aineke, we all know, is a famous hunter in this land and beyond. What excuse does he have to owe you at the first place? And now, these people take you for granted and it's all your fault. It has to come to an end. This is the only business you have and you have to take it very serious. Fine now. But she has to spend the night here. So you have to go home and take some rest. Are you sure about that? Why? I'm very sure. Just be strong. Have faith. Okay then. My daughter must have been starving since morning. Let me rush to the house and see her. I'll be back later at night to check up on her. That's all right. It's okay. Thank you. that they went to their farmland along Ip Bank Road.
She's back from the stream now. Where could she be? Apugo! 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 Did, did you see Apugo, my daughter? Yes, uh, I saw her about an hour ago, walking towards that direction. That way? I 
is my daughter? Gods of our land, where is my daughter? I can't sleep in this house without my daughter. I have to go to her mother's place. I know it's risky, but... She didn't come here. Hey, I, 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 I took my sick wife to Doku's house, and before the wife sick again. Yes, uncle. Her sickness degenerated today, and I had to rush her to Doku's house. And Akugo told me at that time she was going to the street. And I've been back since noon. I haven't seen her. There's nowhere to be found. Uh, have you gone to her friends' houses? I've gone there. They all told me she left around noon. I don't know what must have happened to my daughter. Uh, don't, 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 nothing has happened to her. Uh, she must have gone to her mother's place. Tomorrow morning, you go there and check her. Hey, and Omunede is very far. Akugo does not frequent there. And where do you think she must have gone to? Uh, she's still a child, but not too little to miss her way around this land. Uh, I say, calm your mind. Tomorrow morning, go to her mother's place and check. She must be there, safe and sound. I just want to believe she's there. I want to believe that because if not that it's late, I would have gone there this night. Ah, no. The roads are dangerous at night. Go back home. Tomorrow morning, go and check her up in her mother's place. She is very safe. I think so. Let me get home and check if she's back. Let me be No, no, don't worry. Huh? Where are you? Ah, Where are you running to this morning? 
Please, did you by any chance see my daughter? We are coming from a bank of forest where we went to fetch some firewood this morning. We saw, we saw some human blood. I'm sure a wild animal has killed human. Human blood? No. I'm I will not allow this. No. I have to go there myself. Hey, Ike, where did you find her? Aneke, but that was a mistake. How could you have allowed your daughter into a Joko forest? Do you know she almost died if I have not seen her at that time? What? She was attacked by a strange being. Eh? Thank God I went for a hunting by that time. If not, it would have been a different story altogether. Ike, are you okay? Are you sure? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The gods be with you. I appreciate this. Thank you. Are you sure you're okay? How come? Oh, let's go inside. Go in. Udoku. What's the for mind? Udoku, what is this? What is wrong with my wife? Eh? Haneke. Why did I not see you again last night? And I've been expecting you here since morning. What happened? Udoku, you won't believe what happened to me last night. What? My daughter got missing. I was searching for her all over the village. It was only this morning that a good man from the village brought her home, saying he, he found her in the forest. She what? almost got attacked by a strange creature. What? What was she doing in the forest? I honestly do not know. What is wrong with my wife? Why are there ashes all over her body? Well, uh, her condition deteriorated last night and uh, I've been trying my best but she is not responding to treatment I'm afraid Don't talk like that to do Do not talk like this I beg you You'll be fine, oh? Nam Nam okay? Yes <laughs> Yes, you'll be strong You'll be fine, okay? You'll come back home so you can be with us, Lugo. Aneke, be a man. She will be fine. I just believe it. Tibia, please, please, help my mother. be merciful on me. I have wronged no human. Don't lose hope yet. I am not losing hope. It's just that the, the temptations are too much for me. Too much. I am so sorry. I didn't mean to bring all of this on you. It's not your fault. Did you bring sickness upon yourself? It's not your fault at all. I just, I just look up to the gods to come to my rescue. But I want you to sleep. I want you to rest. I will be fine. I will go back to sleep. If you just go back to sleep and rest, okay? Why don't you just sleep now? I will be fine. Just rest. Hmm? Are you sure?
Talk to me now. You were talking a while ago. Everything possible to the point of going to my enemies to ask for money to save my wife's life. All to no avail. Uncle, you should have reached us. What difference would it have made? At the end of the day, she didn't die for lack of money. Because I was able to raise the money from friends. And the Dibia tried his best. I, I just believe it. It's the way the gods wanted it. Oh. Well, though I was not here, but I can swear you did your best to save her life. Because I, I know how much you loved my sister. I know how much you loved her. This indeed a very great loss. And I just hope and pray the gods give us the fortitude to bear this loss. You see? Uncle, what about my little princess? I don't think she can cope with her mother's absence. Maybe we can take her with us. No, no, I... I want her around me. She's all I have now. Though she can come to Haikune from time to time. Ah. Thinking anything, I'm, I'm just receiving fresh air. But the room is not hot. I know. Now you go inside, I'll join you soon, okay? I want us to go together. Hmm. Okay, let's go.
Why are you going to do this early? I'm going to eat Uncle Forest to fetch firewood. The one we have at home is finished. To fear what? So you've not heard? Heard what? The Ipan Kufa is not a dangerous zone. Hello. The other day, I and my sister went there to fetch firewood. Mm -hmm. Guess what we saw? What? Human blood everywhere. Sima. Why animals have taken there for their abode? Hey. May the gods bless you. You say. May you find favor in your life. You say. If not you. I would have been killed in Eight Manco Forest. But what are our hunters doing about it? Let them kill the wild animal. If not the problem that Ameka is facing now, he's the only fearless man in this community that would have killed the wild animal. What type of problem is he having? Ah, the only one in this community I have not heard hmm? about the strange thing that had before Ameka's wife as she died. Died? What happened to her? Nenekwabum. Ajade Rokwea. I don't know. You better start going or you come back with me. I am leaving. Let me go, Esther. I don't know how to think like I'm not thinking. You have really been of great help to me. And I thank you for that. Right from the moment my wife fell ill till she was buried. You have been of great assistance. Thank you very much. <laughs> what are friends for? Uh, um, uh, um, Anika, I thank the gods that everything moved successfully. And you and your daughter are moving on well. Okay? Um, at least I want to beg you. Try as much as you can, at least to pay me half of my money you owe me. And uh, my, my goods are finished and I need to buy more. Please, try for me. At least in the next two market days, okay? I will, thank you. Good. You have rendered so much assistance to me. It will be very bad of me not to reciprocate that. Even though I don't know how the miracle will happen, but I will try my best not to disappoint you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I will be on my way now. Okay. It's all right. I'm talking to you now. I don't have anything in the house. There is nothing. All my debtors are on my neck. The worst part being that I can't even feed my daughter. I can't take care of her. The gods have abandoned me. They have turned their backs on me. I'm confused. No, Uncle. Don't sound like that. Maybe it's just this season. No, it is not. All my mates go into the forest and make good kills. But me, Aneke. The greatest hunter in Omunze. I have run out of fever. Why? I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know what I have done to the gods that they treat me this way. No, no, uncle, please. I don't put it upon yourself. Such is life. It is not always straight. Just take it as one of those moments that prepare you for a better future. Hmm. Meanwhile, you have me and my brother. Our late parents left us with so many wealths. Lands and cash crop. Hmm? I thought you that you went through all this without letting us know. My late sister did not die because of lack of money. But the gods decided it was time to take her away. All the same is okay. We will help you. We'll help you clear up all the debts. No, 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 don't worry about that, please. I won't have you bother yourself over my issues. I am a man. I can take care of my problems. Aneke, wait. Oh, we are part of this family. Allow us to help you. I don't, I don't know. You, 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 you can't come into my problem. I'm just telling you because I felt like I, I would take care of it. Don't worry. Aneke, calm down. Your problems are our problems. Let's help you. How much is the money?
Ada, you're still here. <laughs> you don't expect me to go just like that and leave you people here. I mean, who will be doing the cooking and other things? I mean, I need to spend some days with you and my niece until you begin to get used to being alone without the help of a mother. This is very thoughtful of you. You're so kind. Thank you very much. <laughs> Don't mention. Where are you going to? I want to go check up on my friends and pay my debts. All thanks to you. <laughs> That's nothing. Don't mention. It's all good. By the time you'll be back, the food will be ready. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh -huh. uh, where is that one? I haven't seen her. Maybe she's playing with other kids out there. Oh, okay. I'm glad she's actually becoming happy. I hope she keeps up with it. That way she makes it easier for me to forget the demise of my late wife. Me too. You know she's now my mother as well as my wife. Let me run along. I'll see you when I get back. All right. Good day, Auntie. Good day, Wyoma. Please, I'm looking for Adane. Oh, she's inside. Should I go and call her? Okay, don't worry. Let me meet her there. Auntie, I like your hair. Oh. Really? Like my hair? Auntie, please don't forget. Oops. 
sorry for your gift. Sorry, sorry. You like my hair? I like yours too. I know. You're very beautiful. Uh, I know, that's why Imam calls me Akuko. <laughs> You're very funny. What did you say your name is again? Akuko. And you, what is your name? My name? Hmm. What an interesting girl. All right. My name is Ugoma. We have Ugo in our names. Yes. Ugo and Ugo. <laughs> Doesn't make us friends. Of course. Friendship. I like you. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I've been chatting with this amazing kid. Who is she? She's my niece. Eh? <laughs> Come, let me offer you. Okay, please don't, don't spoil her game. Let's follow this side. Sorry. So that's your niece. Hmm. Your late sister's daughter. Yes, so her name is Akuko. Yes, she told me. She's such an interesting girl. I like her. <laughs> Akugo is a girl loved by all. She's very intelligent and respectful. Yes. You can see how she was asking me. Auntie, what's your name? <laughs> oh, she did? Yes. <laughs> hey, Chai. Your late sister had such a lovely girl. And that won't just allow her mother to watch her grow. Because what should I offer you? Anything. Just mention it. Anything. Anything. Okay, I'm coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And see, this your friend is very beautiful. Beautiful, Kwa? No, I don't think she's beautiful. And see, don't tell me you cannot see it, so she's very beautiful. But they don't mind her. She can see it. She's just jealous of me. You wish. <laughs> Go my wish. Come, take. Share with me. No, it's all yours. Nam said that it's not good to share one's guest cooler. But I'm your friend. I told you that earlier. Please share with me, my friend. Please. Go ahead, take. She's your friend. Come sit with me. Mm. Your new friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Ah. I can't believe you finished this food just now. This food is delicious. <laughs> you cook just like your sister. I never knew you were such a wonderful cook. Uncle, please stop. You flatter me when you compare me with my sister. I know my sister. She was the best cook I've ever seen. Mm. You cook exactly like her. Let me tell you something. Eh? Your husband will be a lucky man because he will go crazy with your cooking. No, no. You can leave me. You know how to make someone's head sweat. Mm. No. Mm. No. Mm. Adam. Look at this. My friend Auntie Goma gave it to me. Auntie Goma? Who is she? She's my friend. She came visiting earlier. They quickly became friends at first sight. She said she likes Akugu very much. And you never told me you had a friend in my village. Oh. Ah, I have oh. Ugoma. Mm. Okay. I met her the period my sister and I used to visit you before you people became a couple. Her mother hails from my village. And she always frequented too. She's a very good and decent girl. Okay, I see. And you already made friends with her. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay, take back your crowns and go and keep them safe. Okay? Okay. Unlock. 
That's my girl. Me. How are you doing? I'm fine. Where have you been since? Yeah? That means you missed me. <laughs> Come and join me in my game. Okay. This is Unam. I'm sure you know him. Good day, Mazi. You're welcome, my dear. You must be the friend she always talks about. Really? Yes. I don't know how she got so attached to you. Well, we like ourselves. And we have this common thing in our names. My name is Ugoma, and she's a Kugo. Ugo and Ugo. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Good. Uh, please, I'm here to see uh, Ada. Is she around? Uh, no, Ada is not around. She went to her village to see her brother. But she promised to come back before evening, so I'm sure she should be on her way by now. You, you can wait. You can wait for her. No, I. No, please wait for her. I, sh I have some moonlight cocktails to tell you, and I'll tell you after I'm done with the game. <laughs> so you are waiting. That's it. Okay, Omalitam. Carry on with your game while I go to the farm and pick up something. I'll be back immediately. All right. Come on, come on. So what did you do to my daughter that got her this attached to you on your first visit? <laughs> like I told you before, we just like ourselves and do good thing I told you about. Oh yeah, you said that before. Ugoma <laughs> Akugo. So it was easy. You know, Ada had told me about you, but I I really don't know you. Okay. Um Dika Chebe's daughter from Obaha clan. Dika Achebe. Who's Dika Wait, no. Um, 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 um. Okay, Kezala, brother. Yes. Ah, ah, ah. I grew up with my grandmother, so most people don't know me. So Dika Achebe has a daughter this big? Hmm. Yes. Um, Mazi, I heard you lost your wife recently. Yes. Death took away the only precious woman in my life. Ever since then, I've not been able to get over it. I've not been myself. But I'm trying to cope and see how I can um, survive without her. Mazi, please take heart. I believe the gods know what you're passing through and have plans for you. Do not be disheartened. The downfall of a man, they say, is not the end of his life. You just need to keep up the faith 
and believe for a better tomorrow. Once again, I'm sorry for the loss of your loved one. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Hmm. You do not tell me sorry. Oh, my friend. I'm sorry. Yeah? Sorry, sorry. Okay, since this is your first time of meeting me in my house, I have to run around and get you something. I'll be back. Thank you, Mazi. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let me tell you the folk tales that Mary used to tell me. Yes. There was this word that she told me. That there was this word that I had in the word. It had two words actually. Father, you haven't gone to bed? No. And you, what are you busy thinking about? Uh, uh, no, no, nothing. I'm, I'm good. No, don't bother. I'm okay. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Are you sure it has nothing to do with the meeting you had with your uncle today? I heard he summoned you at his place. Yes, he did. Tell me. Why did he summon you? I don't just get it. That man is pestering my life. Imagine him trying to force me into getting another wife. I am happy the way I am. I don't know why people don't want to understand this. Nah, Kugo. Your uncle is very right. Yes. You are the only surviving son of your late parents. And my sister was unable to give you a male child before she passed on. So you need to get yourself another woman to bear your children. Ada, you amaze me. Well, I have a suggestion. Um, what is it? Mm -hmm. I suggest you consider my friend Uguma. She's the bright woman for you. She's a very good girl. And she's that type of woman you need for a support at this trial time of your life. She is everything every man craves for in a woman. Adani. You are advising me to marry your friend? Yes. Because I know she's the right woman for you. Ugoma is that type of woman that will not come to tear your family apart. But help you organize it. And make it more of a home for you. Kachifo. I will advise him to take another woman. Someone that will take proper care of his child. You know, men, they are hardly at home. They don't know how to raise kids. Oh. I already told him to listen to his uncle. Some uncles won't even care. Sadly. Nem. The truth is that I mentioned you to him. I don't understand. You did what? I'm telling you the truth. I told him about you. Ugo, Aneke is a good man. The daughter loves you so much. And you are my friend. So? So? Please, please, please! If this is a joke, end it now, immediately. Tap on manya. You, 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 you want me, Ugoma? Hey, I cannot be a second wife to anybody. Mban. Ugo, you are going too far. Eh? The wife, my sister, is late. There is no second wife in this issue. Ugo, Ugoma, are we quarreling? Yes, we are. Why will you mention me to him without discussing it with me first? In fact, I'm leaving. Ugo, no, no. Ugo, come back. Ugo! Ugo! Maybe I was playing with you to see how you react. I know Ada very well. She was not playing with it. Even if she's serious, I think it's because of your closeness to her family. 
and then the little girl. You just told me about her some days ago. So I don't see anything wrong with it. Eh? It's just a matter of choice. That the man's uncle wants him to get married. And Ada suggested you. Why is that a problem? Or don't you like the man? You are the worst person to tell anything. You can continue with the food. Bye, 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 bye. I can't do it, Ma. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. How are you? Fine. Good morning. Good morning. Is she not a fool? Hey! She's a fool. Um, my little one. Biko, where is Goma? <laughs> She's still sleeping. Eh? Hmm. Mm. Mm. Biko, go and tell her that I'm here with a fool. Wake her up. Please, I don't have Ugoma strength. She doesn't like it when you wake her up in between her sleep. Hey! I can't believe Ugoma is still sleeping. Go and wake Ugoma up. I will go there and wake her up myself. Ah. Auntie, don't worry. Let me go and wake her up. She will not be angry. <laughs> okay. I'm waiting. Your mates are returning from the farm and you are still here sleeping. You should be ashamed of yourself. Ada, please. I don't want to trouble this man. <laughs> Auntie Ugoma, is it true that you and my auntie are fighting? Don't mind her. She's lying. <laughs> auntie Ugoma, I cooked jollof rice for you. Are you serious? <laughs> okay, tell me. Did you prepare the jollof rice yourself or your auntie here? Prepared it. Say the truth. I prepared it myself. Eh? Okay, let me ask you again. Did you prepare the jello fries specially for me or for everybody? <laughs> for you. Really? <clears throat> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Oh, that's nice. It's not easy to cook for a friend. Akugo, please, can you tell Ekedema here to mind her business? Please. Remove your mouth. <laughs> hey, let's go. <laughs> But this boy in Bian, my best friend. <laughs> you know, I'm just waking up. Uh, let me take my bath. I'm coming. Just go. I'll join you. What are you still waiting for? Eh? Go and eat your jollof rice. And stop for me. I want to wait for you. Hey. Uh, uh, Akugo. She says she's coming to the house. Okay, you just wait behind. When she's coming, you people will come together. Oh, okay. let me run along. Mm -hmm. One. Okay, Bye. 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 <laughs> That's good. So where did you find your friend? I went to her house this morning. I see. Mazi, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Um, where is Ada? Um, Ada went out. She went out. She went out? Yes. Well, she came to my house this morning with her cook and she said she'll be waiting for us here. Ah. In that case, maybe she branched off somewhere else. But, but can't you wait for her? Yes, she waits. I have something for her. Yes, she has something for me. You and this your friend. Anyway, you can stay and wait. Uh, let me go and see my uncle. I'll be back soon. Okay. You see, I can wipe my waist. It's a lie. You can't do it. Me? Yes. But I can do it better than you do. <coughs> I can do it better than you. Why you come? 
If you can do it better, why don't you stand up and do it? At least I did now. Okay, watch me. Are we doing shaking competition? <laughs> Why haven't you given your friend the food? Um, Auntie Ada, I didn't see you when we came back. That has not answered my question. You, where are you coming back from? You told us you'd be here waiting for us. Where did you go? I went to see Ogechukuo. Auntie Ada, please, can you go and bring the food? Are you serious? Is it not your food? Please, go and bring the food. Listen, I'll go. If you don't want to give me the food you promised me, I'll go. Please don't go. Let me go and bring it. <laughs> I can't wait to taste our food. <laughs> Aneke, I asked to see you in respect of our last discussion. How far have you gone? Have you found the woman? Uncle, you are really going to put a rope to my neck if I don't get married again. Uh, hey, Machapo. Anyway, my sister-in-law had suggested a maiden to me. Though I'm yet to talk with her. Is it okay? Yes. Uh, if your sister-in-law introduced the maiden to you, that means she knows her very well. Who could that be? Do I know her? Mm, you might know her. Her name is Ugoma. Daughter of Mazi DK of Obaha village. Ugoma, your sister lost friend. Exactly. <coughs> she's a very good girl, and she's from a, a good lineage. Good. See, that maiden is exactly what you need. Like I said before, she's a very nice girl, and the best behaved of all the maidens in this land. Wow. But uh, my question is, do you really love her? No, she's my baby. What's that? <laughs> Let her not get used to this. Mm -hmm. Leave her yeah. for me. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You have she's me She's jealous. <laughs> look at you. You're smiling. Enjoyment. <laughs> ah. Where are you all going at this time? <laughs> Uncle, we want to see Goma up. She says she wants to get something at Ori Market. Ugoma, isn't it too early to go to Ori Market? The truth is that if I don't go now, I might not see what to buy. Don't worry, I'll come back tomorrow. I'm going to follow until you go to the market. Did you not hear her say she will come back tomorrow? Eh, I will sleep with her, I will come back tomorrow. Ugoma, what have you given to my daughter? <laughs> she doesn't even care about me anymore. <laughs> I didn't give her anything. Akugo, don't worry, Ori is far. Like I promise, I'll come tomorrow and see you. Hmm? Now tell me, what will I buy for you? Um, a karadioko. Isigi di ka karadioko e bawa. Don't mind, I'll buy a karadioko for you. Ada, please take Akugo back to the house while I see Goma. She's now my friend, isn't she? Of course. <laughs> Adani. Adani. Ugumba, Uncle, please see how very well. Mwan, let's go. I really don't understand. You, you don't understand that you have eaten deep into my daughter's heart. You don't understand that you have become part of my family? You don't understand that I love you so much? I know I was married before. And I lost her. I want you to come and be a good mother to Akugo, ma'am. And I promise you this day, I will do everything within my past to take care of you. I... I want to rush to the Ori Market. Excuse me. She didn't 
say anything. She said she was running late for the market and, and hurried off. I, I don't know. I, I just hope the gods touch her heart. <laughs> don't worry, she will agree. For the fact she loves her Kuku, I know she will agree. Eh, I hope so. I mean, while I'm hungry, please get me food. Ugoma. Ugoma. What are you thinking? Thinking me? No, I'm not thinking. Why do you ask? I'm no more a child. And I know it when something is bothering you. My advice to you is to make a decision. That man is still young, and from what I've seen, you've become part of that family. If you like him, marry him. If not for anything, at least for the sake of that young girl that took her time to prepare jollof rice for you. My sister, you won't understand. But I do. Aneke is the most outstanding hunter we know. Maybe you don't know him because you're not always here with us. But I do. If Papa is alive today, he will advise you to marry him. So think about it. I won't even give you a bad advice. She's not inside. What? Where has she gone to? Okay, maybe she's at the back. Follow me. Okay. <laughs> Mirizo wawa kongwa neti Inine Ewo Ne mwando inine Ewo Ne mwando inine Uwa motank Kai But you said that Kugu is not feeling very fine Hell! Hey! Who said that one? I'm very fine as you can see I took over Please come and help us pick. Ada, please take Akugo into the hut. I want to have a word to go, ma. Ada. Ada, why did you do this? Do you know I almost felt that when I was running down to this place? Sorry. Thank the gods you did not fall. Fire, ma. Mwila <laughs> mbada. Kaipo. I'll see you soon, okay? Sorry, I was the one who tricked you into coming. Because I want us to conclude our discussion so I will know when to come and see your home now. What are we concluding? Ugo, stop pretending like you don't know what I'm talking about. Stop acting strange. Please accept my proposal. Oh, no, no. I need to discuss it with my friend Ada. I am the one making the proposal, not Ada. 
Let me see Adam, my friend. Good news. You are the daughter of your father. Thank you, Uncle. Come like that. Come like that. Come here, though. In fact, if I was still in your age bracket, I would go for her. Sometimes uh, I, I just wonder how cruel life can be to some people. How? The way Dickie died in this community. He was a very good man. Sometimes in the community meetings, he will stand up and talk to the Igwe anyhow he likes. Especially when they are not doing the right thing. Serious? Who doesn't know Dickie in this community? He was a very good man. Your age mates know him when he was weak. Anyway, yeah, that's by the way. In two market days, get ready. We are going to pay her bread price. Because another man who saw her too. Another little person. Ha. Ah. Thank you very much, Uncle. Thank you. <laughs> well, you see, uh, the truth is that um, I like Wikomo. Yes, I like her and I, I believe she will make a good wife. And that was the reason I tried my possible best to make her agree. You did what? Uh, uh, am I not the one that initiated the movement? And I finished it. You only talked to her to come. Wait for Ziku. Okay, mm -hmm. he gonna go. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. See, both of you tried. Both the initiator and the executor. No, 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 no. Me. <laughs> hey. So, um, in two market days, we are going to bring Ogoma Nemona in this house. Yes, I will be the very person to carry the keg of power wine. See, tell those your king, kingsmen not to near that keg. Eh. Yeah. That will be my work. Carrying. Carrying the. No the problem. Power wine. Yes. And the mango, you won't test it. Madelika. Okay, the mango. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to marry my friend. Let the marriage be a good one. The gods and the water spirits, please let it be a fruitful one. I beg of you.
<laughs> so the story mm. Mm -hmm. one woman she could not give birth mm. so she went to this place and she adopted a child mm. and she stayed there for two months so that you'll be like she gave birth there yeah. <laughs> and then she now went home and then she was now like oh this is my baby <laughs> and then the husband be <laughs> Excuse me, 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 I won't believe her. Don't worry, so desperate. <laughs> Mother and daughter. This one you are discussing, I hope this food does not suffer for it. No, you're back. Yes. Did you catch any meat today? Of course I did. Gary, you're welcome. We are talking about the food. Does it matter if it tastes awful? You must eat it. You lie. If it tastes awful, I will not eat it. Nam, you must eat it all. Just pray that it tastes good. It is you who should pray it tastes good. <laughs> My husband, don't worry. I'm making a very delicious meal for you. Trust me, your daughter can attest to that. Exactly, Inam. You know, I will make sure that your stomach is well fed. I trust you, my daughter. <laughs> anyway, I want to go into the hut and drop the gun. Okay. Yes. Mm. Akugo is coming to fetch you betting water. Oh, good. I'll be waiting. I'll go for no bikinis. Hey, Where are you coming from? No, I must. I just went for a stroll to Jeke River. What did you go there to do? Olachi told me that she saw you there. Olachi, but I did not see her. So, where is the water you fetched? I didn't go there to fetch water. Then what took you there? Nothing. I just want to relax. Anyway, go to the kitchen and take care of the food I have on fire. Hmm? Let me go to my mom Lachi's house. I'll be back soon. Why the food I asked you to look after is here burning? No, sorry, let me bring it down. It's already down. Of course it is. But everything has completely burnt. What is wrong with you, Akuko? Eh? What is wrong with you? A child like you, why? How could you slip off just like that? Then I don't have any problem. It's just that I was tired and I slept off. And I just apologized. You just apologized? Eh? You just apologized.
sitting here for? Am I not talking to a human being? What are you doing here? You are shaking your head. If that pot breaks, eh, I will skin you alive. Hey. <laughs> You're welcome. Your food is ready. Hmm? Do you want to eat now before you go again or after the next one? That my husband you Akugo 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 Oh you are sleeping Come out there Come out there you fool Akugo You are sleeping again today You are sleeping and left my food to burn What is wrong with you this girl? Are you pregnant? He did me! Oh, the food. It's important. You're asking me a question. Eh? You're asking me a question. You're asking me a question. You're asking me You bought the food that my husband, your father, will eat tonight. Annoying, annoying. Foolish girl. He said, I'm sorry. See, you regret hitting me today.
Does it mean that Akugo has not eaten anything till now? Yeah, I guess she's still angry with me. Wake up. Yes. 
The other day when I told you that our cuckoo is evil, you never said anything. That girl is not who we see her as. She's not. She is evil. Now you listen to me, Cora. This is not the first time, but let this be the last time you will say any such thing about my daughter. Do you understand me? You can... You don't believe me. I have warned you. Speaking about my daughter in that manner because I won't take it lightly with you. Hey. Where's Akugo? Is she not eating? I don't know. You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? It means I don't know. I don't care if she has eaten or not. All I know is that I don't have any food for her. What is it? Why are you crying? Akugo, you can talk to me. Why are you crying? Where is Ugo and your father? Akugo, are you not going to talk to me? This is not you. What is the problem? You can talk to me. It's me, Ada. Talk to me, oh? Can you please explain to me the meaning of this attitude of yours? Ugoma, I am talking to you. Could you please allow me eat? Hmm? If you don't want to eat, allow me to eat. I'm hungry. Or do you want me to leave the food for you? Huh? What is wrong with Akugo? No other. No. Tell me this is a joke. I am very serious. I just witnessed it with my eyes today. In fact, if you see Akugo, you will not recognize her again. No. No. Not Akugo. Amadja her will punish anybody that wants to make life uncomfortable for my brother's granddaughter. Never. I will not live to allow that person to succeed. Never. Not in my life. Never. So, who do you think is actually behind this? Uh, uh, Ugoma or who? From what she told me, she said just because she fell asleep and the pot of soup on fire got burnt. That was why Ugoma beat her up. And even when her father came back, he could not say anything about that. <laughs> but you, 
Why didn't you bring her along with you? Didn't she know she's a small girl? Why was she torture in the first place? Um, um, uncle, relax, eh? It's not late. Tomorrow morning I am going to that house to see things myself. Yes! Okay. But more be tight then. If what I just heard is true, oh, they will know what I'm made of. <laughs> Anyways, stop okay. that. Nayono, check, calm down. Please calm down, I will explain. Explain what? Nayanika, what have you got to explain? Eh? I have seen my brother's granddaughter. She has lost so much weight. Now, how do you explain that? Hmm? It is not what you think. How can I maltreat my own daughter? What reason do I have to do that? I should be asking you that. Eh? Aniki, why are you maltreating your own daughter badly? Who is that person that is corrupting your mind against her? Tell me. Hmm? Taking this too far. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Aneke, he's not taking anything too far. Hmm. Go ahead and answer the question. I'm sorry to say that I'm disappointed at you. Akugo is the daughter of the woman you loved so much. Eh? Now that she's no more, the only way you deem best to pay her back is by maltreating the only child she left behind. Look, at please, right? please stop. No, 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 he won't stop, Aneke. Akugo is too young for such maltreatment. Or have you suddenly forgotten she's your own flesh and blood? Wait, though. You people don't know Akugo. You don't know that girl. I'm telling you that she is evil. Ta, what? Akugo is evil. Just because I scolded her like a good mother would do to a daughter. She swore to deal with me. That night, she attacked me. To tear father and daughter apart. Eh? You mean this thing started the day you scolded her? Yes. Did I do wrong by beating her up? Is she not like my own daughter? You didn't do anything wrong. Hmm? But my advice to you is to call Akugo. Tell her you don't hate her. Hmm? Apologize to her. Just talk to her like a mother. Okay. 
said you don't understand. I have done that. She doesn't even greet me anymore. She doesn't talk to me. You don't understand. Just relax, my sister. Hmm? I will talk to her. Ah, Uguma. Ah, Nkem, okay. you're welcome. Thank you. Are you cooking alone? Where is Akugo? I'm sure you're not expecting me to prepare my meal with that one jiggy who is bent on destroying my life. No way. Uguma. I don't know what she's up to this time around. Uguma, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? What is the reason for this recent attitude of yours towards that girl? Please, I want to be left alone. She almost killed me and, and, and it happened in your very presence. You saw it. I did not see it. I only saw you pointing at the direction nobody was. I didn't see anything. What are you trying to say? That I'm putting this all up to create an empty impression? A girl that spends most of her time at EJK River. Tell me, what is a kid like that looking for at EJK River alone? She's an unbanje. But I know you will not believe me because she's your daughter. You would think I'm making this all up to create an empty impression, to corrupt your mind against her. That is exactly what it is. I do not think so. I know so. And I want you. Change the way you treat her before it turns into something else. Hey, he thinks I'm making this up. No problem. No problem. I'll leave this house for you so that you can live with your daughter happily. I'll leave this house for you since you don't want to believe me. I'll leave. You don't want to believe me, I will leave this house for you. Please stop sulking, stop crying. Stop wasting those tears and stay back. Aleke, nothing will stop me from getting to my father's house today. You don't believe me, I want to go. I'll leave you and your daughter to enjoy your home. No, don't talk like this. I've told you I'll look into this. I will get to the root of it, Bikuno. You go. You don't believe me. You called me a liar. You don't want. To, you don't know what I've been passing through in this house these days. I mean, I'm suffering. You don't understand. How I'm suffering. Please, like I told you before, me, I will look into it. I will get to the root of it, and I will find out what is happening in this house. Who? Oh? I'm suffering. You have to do something. I'm suffering. <laughs> to do
My wife almost left my house. I know what it took me to convince her to stay back. It, it wasn't an easy fight. But why would she bring up such strange allegations against your daughter? My son, I am sorry, but I have to tell you this. Women are very unpredictable. That woman might have something up her sleeves. But be very careful before she initiates some serious problems into your family. Uncle, the truth is, I initially thought she was making this all up to create unnecessary uneasiness around the house. But recent events have proven her right. What are you talking about? Right about what? Everything doesn't seem to be right with my daughter, Akugo. She visits the Jeke River at odd hours. And whenever she comes back, she behaves strangely. I don't know why I haven't noticed this all this while. I'm afraid Ugoma might be right. What? Huh? Yes. What kind of a man is Aneke? Eh? How could he have suddenly turned against his own daughter simply because of what another woman said? Eh? I, 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 I think Aneke is no longer in his right senses. Yes! Ugoma must have used something on him. Uh, remember her late grandfather was a Dibia. That family is diabolically inclined. But Ugoma is different. I think something is wrong somewhere. I don't know. I'm just confused. I, I'm, 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 I'm regretting all this now. Eh? Ada, I think you, you couldn't have advised him to marry Ugoma in the first place. Eh? I'm regretting all this now. Did I know? I'm a, I know. I thought I know the real her. It's okay. I'm blaming myself for all this. And to even think her great grandfather was a Dibia. Knowing how or not knowing how, Dibia or no Dibia, not to the detriment of my brother's granddaughter. Never. I can never allow anything happen to that girl for any reason. Ugoma or whatever you call her. If she thinks she's diabolic, <laughs> I will teach her she's the small child in that field. <laughs> Tell her to stay clear of my brother's granddaughter. <laughs> mm, want her. Tell me it's nobody because I heard you loud and clear. Nam, I've been alone, and as you can see, I'm, I'm alone. I don't think so. Now get into your hut.
sleeping, Kim? You're not sleeping. Are you alright? Kim, please talk to me. What is bothering you? Hmm. I think you're right about Akugo. Everything doesn't seem right with her. She's acting strange. I'm never afraid. I said it. But no one believed me. Could they think you've seen it yourself? You, you said that uh, 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 I was trying to... Please kill. stop. Don't raise that topic anymore. I'm trying to think about what to do. I think she's possessed or something. No doubt about that. She's possessed. Just because I scolded her like a mother would do to her beloved daughter, she turned her wrath against me. your first time of seeing me in this village. But it's with your eyes that you see me. <laughs> Listen. You should know the people you look at. I am bigger than you and your Wanje. Did you hear that? Stupid Wanje girl. Almighty Obanje girl that wants to kill her stepmother. Let me warn you if you try me in this village, if you try me in this village, I will kill you in the name of all the deities in this village. Why is she staying at like that? I said, Go! Go! Obanje, stay away from us. You better go and do for your fellow Obanjes and leave us alone. I'm not an Obanje. I said, Go! I said, You are. Your, mother, your stepmother said, You are. Why are you crying? <laughs> are you not the one I'm talking to? Is it not that you go, ma? She has been going around the village telling everybody that I'm possessed. Now the villagers are isolating me. They'll be calling me up one every everywhere I go. Uh huh. So? You should blame it on yourself, not me. Uh -huh. Is that all you have to say? No problem. We shall see. <laughs> Mukem? Mukem, did you hear that? She's threatening me. Mukem, she's threatening my life. You. <laughs> you. Hmm. Don't worry. You will see. Mukem. Mukem. I told you that this girl is an Obanja. I told you that she's an Obanja. Okay, if anything happens to me, if anything happens to me in this house. Oh, okay. Yay. Ha!
Oh, Sarah! Sarah! Yes, she's trying to kill me! She's trying to kill me! Go, go, go! Go! Abugo! Come here. Why are you wicked? Why are you bent on tormenting your stepmother? Do you think I'll ever forgive you if anything happens to her? No, I don't know what you're talking about. I will slap that evil spirit out of you if you pretend you don't know what I'm talking now, about. What do you think you want to do, Aniki? Eh? What is it? Stop accusing this innocent girl. What is that, sir? Ada, shut up! She knows what she's doing! She knows nothing! It is your foolishness that is all over you! What? Eh, 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 eh. Hold it, sir. I will not have you come into my house to insult my husband. Mba, tell her, that's not again. How dare you talk to my sister in that manner? Ha have you lost it? And what will you do? Eh? I'm asking you, Doka. What will you do? Mua! Yes. Ugomba, Ugomba, tell her. Uh, is it my brother you're talking to like that? Yes! He's the one I'm talking to. Obisina! And look at you! You're not ashamed of yourself, eh? You think you're getting any younger? You're an old woman. Go and marry. I'm in my husband's house. Go and marry! Marry Ada. Face your own family. Stop coming here to insult me and my husband because of this, your sister's witch of a daughter. Ow! Hey, slap her again! Slap her, slap her very well! You are here! Slap you tell her to slap my wife? Of course, in my compound! Yes, slap her! You've come here to fight me! And what will you have come here to fight me? What will you do it for me? Don't try me! If you try me, I'm, I... I, I will kill you and bury you right in this compound. Bring it. You have stayed back. Come back here. Why are you running? I thought you came to find me, my compound. Yes, come back. Come back. Any eye? No. Makagiri! That's not possible! Ah. 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 
the hand will take time to heal because what? it's broken. Hey. Broken? Hey! Hey! No! Initiated her marriage to my in law. Tell me, what crime did I commit? What crime did I commit? Just look at what they have done to a girl. Her mother died and left lonely. Just they go there. You mean Aneke and Goma, Goma did this to this girl? Mm -mm, I did it myself. This will not end like this. Your sister and her husband will explain to Agbara the meaning of Ogbanji. All the ROC in this community will come into this issue. One of her eyes is damaged. Who knows if she will ever see with this again. The gods of our land will not allow that teaching. You see, but... Hmm. Ada, Ngoma is your friend. Aneke is your in-law. Please, let's take this issue calmly and find out the truth. I can't believe this is happening. I've told my sister to be sure of what she's saying. I can't believe Goma and Akugo is doing this. But the gods of our land do not allow anybody behind this to go free. It's your sister who is behind it. Just look at what they did to a girl. Her mother died and left slowly. What does she know? We all are... Eh? Well, I blame that. I blame that and killed my sister. If she was alive, tell me who would call her innocent child and Obanja. Okay, me who? Ada, wipe your tears. Even if she's an Obanja, is it not human beings that are sometimes possessed with the water spirits? Oh, but I know that Ugo my hates Akugo and wants to throw her out because if Akugo is her daughter, she will never treat her like this. I will get to the root of this. Simple. <laughs> Oh, 
you are shivering. Right? You are shivering. Why should I shiver? Oh. You have no reason to shiver. That means you feel no remorse for what you did to that little innocent girl. Fine. I will make you feel exactly the same way she felt that day. Eh? Don't touch me, oh! You idiot! Fool! I will deal with you! You can't be caught to lay your feet in the head of that girl! Help! 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 She'll be alright. She just had a knockout. Are you sure she's still alive? Of course. She's alive. You can see her breathing. She'll be alright. I just hope this is not what I'm suspecting. Because if it is... I I hear you say. Are you insane or something? You beat up Ugoma and her unborn child. Hey? Uncle, I'm regretting the whole thing. Yes! The point is not that I beat her. The point is that she's still alive. Chineke, yes! Can you hear yourself? Yeah, Udoka. You better be thankful to the gods that she did not die. And hope nothing has happened to her unborn child. Otherwise. I doubt if you'll be standing here spitting that nonsense. Uncle, I'm surprised at these things you're saying. Yes! I'm surprised you're sounding like this. Why are you blaming me? Yeah, that, why, why, why is Uncle blaming me? I'm surprised too. Did you see what the, she, she and her husband did to Akugo? Uh, Uncle, hmm? exactly. She deserved whatever Udoka did to her. Oh, keep quiet, you. Killing her will that solve the problem. It will only aggravate things. Your people should be thankful. And let this be the last time such madness will ever happen. Uncle, and that should also be the last time they will cheat her in that manner. Yeah. She's not a one that they beat anyhow. Udoka. Oh, no. Ada. The dream again? Yes. This time around, it's worse. She almost strangled me to death. Did you see Akugo's face? Not really. But I'm sure she's the one. I'm sure you 
since her face was not made visible to you, how can you prove she's the one? I know her Google very well. I can recognize her no matter the form she appears in. Can you get me any of our clothes? Get me a plantain leaf. Not an Obanji. She has nothing whatsoever to do with the water spirits. I did not see anything wrong in this compound. I only see a visitor tormenting the wrong person. A visitor tormenting the wrong person? Yes. Go and get me your hunting gun.
Hmm. I saw you hunting. You shot somebody. A little girl that went to fetch firewood. Oh, an innocent girl. Hmm. No. I can't remember any such incident. Is that the reason for what's happening with my wife? Think first. Maybe you will remember. Before I even got married to my first wife. You are right. Could she be behind everything happening in this compound? Yes. She had to wait till your daughter has come of her age. So you can bear the pains of killing someone's daughter. That little girl you killed almost decayed. Till our parents found her. All this you are experiencing is because our spirit is not at rest. What do I do? Please tell us what do we do now? Because already my daughter has been accused wrongly and I have inflicted so much injury on her. You have to find our parents and render sincere apology to them. What you committed was a very sinful act. I just pray they forgive you. Ah, Julika! Ah, Julika! The great fear of our time. The only Divya who has seen what was covered with the mother. Angelica, hmm. the only Dibia whose father gave the offer until this day, the offer had been leading you. Angelica, I greet you. I greet you too, Ije Onoche. I was actually going to your shrine. Ah, my shrine? I hope all is well. It's my granddaughter. She's been accused of being an Obanji. Please, can, can you follow me to the house? I want to be sure to, if she's one or not. Please. Uh, my, my brother's uh, daughter's child, the one uh, who, who, who lost her mother uh, a few years ago. Oh, you mean the one that is married to Ichi of the last brother's son? Yes, 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 yes. Mm. Go back home. What? I was just coming back from there. Eh? Yes. It was the father that breaks the rotten egg. That is smelling in his household. Yes, the little girl he killed has come to revenge. What? So go back home and rest. So my my granddaughter is not an Obanji. Hey! In 
that case, we have to locate the girl's parents and ask for their forgiveness if they will. That is the problem, Uncle. I don't even know this girl. I, I, I don't know her parents or anything about her. I just found out I had shot her in the bush. I went closer and noticed she was dead. Then I took to my heels. Ever since then, I've not set my feet in that forest again. But you still remember the forest? Yes, that was um, the Banese forest. It belongs to Umwe Zinola community. Good. In that case, we have to go to Umwe Zinola and ask questions about a little girl that was shot in the forest of Ebanese some years back. But Uncle, I, I can't still believe I'm responsible for everything happening in my household. Okay, friend. I always tell you to look before you leave, but you wouldn't listen. Just calm down. Uncle, mm -hmm. so Aneke is actually the cause of all this. That is what the Dibia told me. Hey! I said it! I said it that Akugo is innocent. Hey! Now that she's in pain. What they will say to her is just sorry, Okuya. Okwa Ndo Gaga and see her. Hey. I wanted to take her with me, but her father refused. I see if I saw all this coming. I look at what they did to that innocent girl. I don't care. Yeah. I don't care. What are you both doing here? Will you leave now? Leave! Iche! Udoka! Please come. Here. What do you want here? Did you miss your way or something? Iche. I don't know where to start. Don't start from anywhere. You have no explanation whatsoever to make. Forgive me, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please. Adam, Makugo, I am your father and I understand how you feel. <laughs> please forgive us. I promise you, a thing like this will never happen again. Please, it's right. okay. I'm sorry, please. Leave me. Where are you again? Oh, no. Ah, you have the audacity to come into my compound and then I don't speak. Now we stand here. Oh, 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 for me. Oh. Okay. Come. Come and explain your head and your nose. How? Uncle. I am after Ugoma. I am after. For Stop. doing this to this little girl. I am after both of them. I will, I will sacrifice their heads. I will cut them into pieces. Ugoma, you. It's all right. Uncle, I'm sorry. Oh. Stop crying. You'll be fine. Oh, don't cry again. Don't look in her face. How is she? She's getting better. W 
we are looking for the home of a girl who was killed in the forest a few years ago. We know it's this village, but we don't know the exact place. The one I know is if anyone that died when fresh and fire would have in this forest. Yes, that, that's the person. Okay, the first building by your right, House of Okereke's house. On this road? Yes. Thank you, thank you very much. Your husband killed a girl in the bush, and it was the spirit of the girl that is doing all of this, and not even Akugo. My sister, that is the truth. The SMO was here himself, and he opened up on how everything happened. Mm -hmm. <sighs> but why is the spirit not even attacking Aneke? Oh! That is what I've been thinking about ever since this was revealed. My sister, I'm having the thought that is the same spirit that killed his first wife. Why do you think so? Because he was not yet married before the thing happened. And this is Aneke, my nephew. Please, we, we were looking for Mazo Kereke. Are we in the right place? Yes. This is Mazo Kereke's house. Okay. Please, we, we want to see him. Okay. See that. Let me call him. Papa? Papa? Chief for dinner. And this is Aneke, my nephew. Okay. Um, we come to seek for something very important. If only you can give us audience. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, as a matter of fact, what we have to see might be very hard for you to bear. <laughs> what are you saying? You are speaking in parable. You had a daughter that was shot in the forest of Ipanezi some years back. Yes. Yes, so many years ago, somebody shot my daughter and ran away. Mm. For three days, I looked for her. And finally, I found a decayed body in the bush. I mad your hair. Ah! Who is at home? <laughs> Papa, what is it? Why are you shouting? <laughs> One of these people killed Ifeyewa. For so many years, you did not come to my house. Now you are in my house. What for? Why are you here? Tell me, why are you here? Who among you shot my sister? <laughs> Who killed my sister? No, I'm sorry, I, I did. 
Mazo Kreke, please calm down. Please. Remember what I told you when we first came in here. <laughs> Truly, this is an old wound, but we can always handle it. Please. Nico. <laughs> there is no point. <laughs> there is no point. My daughter has started revenge, and that is why you are here. <laughs> My daughter is with a weapon to go after who killed her. Now, leave my house before I do something terrible and I am serious about it. Get out from my house! Get out! Get out! Get out from my house! Where are, where are they? Get out! Get out! Kill my daughter, and you are here in my house to do what? Sorry. Anyway, I will tell Ada to to play your hair for you. Hmm? Did you see your father and your auntie the other day? They came here. Yes, Grandpa. And you noticed that your auntie was crying? Grandpa, I saw her crying, but she's the cause of all this. My father beat me because of her. Mm. You saw what I did to them? You brought out your gun and you chased them away. Mm -hmm. <sighs> you have to forgive your father and your auntie. See, we went to Ezemo and he said that you are not an Obanji. And that your auntie is not an Obanji too. Now, we have found out what the problem is. And your father is doing everything possible to solve the problem. It's, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright. Stop crying, it's alright. Your eye was soon healed. Mm -hmm. And your arm is almost healed too. Now nah, take it gen gently, gently. It's alright, gently. Please. You have to forgive your father. And forgive your auntie too. Will you? Please. Mm -hmm. Aneke, I will go back there myself. There's nobody who don't react the same way Okereke did. We are talking about human being. I will go and apologize to him. Uh, you don't have any business coming with me because the sight of you might get me irritated. Hoku, your idea is fine. Thank you very much. Please help me apologize to him. Tell him I, I shot his daughter in error. It wasn't my intention to kill this child. I will. Just relax. Eh? I will talk to him the way he will understand. Thank you. Let's go. Papa, you have to forgive him. This thing happened a few years ago. And the person that ran away has finally come to see the family. You just have to forgive him, Papa. Please, beg of you. If not that I gave if you are something to go after whoever killed her. That boy will have come here to confess. Anyway, I'm going to invite you Muna into this issue. He has to tell me why he has to kill my daughter. No, Papa. You have to leave the Umuna out of this. Since Ifeinwa died, how many Umuna have come to ask you how to do her burial rites? My sister was buried like a fowl. Hey, Papa, what I'm saying is this. Whenever they come again, tell them that the person they killed has not been properly buried. Let them bring money. Let's do small burial and you will call the Dibia and remove whatever you put in that coffee so that everybody will rest in peace and my sister will rest in peace too. Papa, please. Uh, 
I must tell you, it is wrong when people refuse to do things the right way. I am aware that uh, your nephew must have shot my daughter mistakenly. If he was dead, broke my heart and that of her mother. In fact, her mother died of the shock. Hmm. Mazaguke, I am, I am so sorry. I am so sorry. The deed has been done. What is the way forward? Well, uh, my daughter Ikode spoke to me about this issue. She's not at home now. She's, I sent her on an errand and she will soon be back. But uh, I must tell you, if Ikode has not been buried properly, I mean in terms of burial rights, so if we must talk about it, I mean, it's going to be on that angle. Yes, um, I understand you. If it is on that angle, we are ready to do it very, very well. All we ask for is for every one of us to bury the hatchet. Okay. Uh, I am going to discuss with my own now. And whatever conclusion we arrive at, I will let you know. That's very, that's very good. Thank you very much. here to tender our sincere apology to your entire household. Ask on Ibu Niwe Ilima Kisi. To err is human and to forgive divine. Please let this family come together in peace once again. So, Ugumma, my niece is not an Obanji finally. Ada, please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please answer my question first. Ada, let's leave this issue. Everything should be in the past. Yes. My best friend, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. You are my best friend. <coughs> my sister from another mother. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I didn't know what I was doing. Please, I'm sorry. Please. Look at my head. Will it be fine again? Thank you. 